Throughout the financial crisis, that's right, we're still talking about it, <laughs> our economy has been guided by the Federal Reserve Bank, which is now engaged in a trillion-plus-dollar program to prop up the economy called quantitative easing. <laughs> it's not a made-up phrase, if that's what you're thinking. It's when the Fed buys up government debt with money that they make out of thin air. <laughs> Sounds like they're printing money. Nuh-uh. One myth that's out there is that what we're doing is printing money. We're not printing money. See? <laughs> that's Ben Bernanke, the chairman of the Fed. We're not printing money. We're imagineering money. <laughs> printing money would be like last year when we were making things quantitatively easier for banks by buying up massive amounts of their debt using money created from thin air. <laughs> that was printing money. Don't take my word for it. Take the guy with the exact same beard on the exact same show talking to the exact same interviewer not 21 months ago. To lend to a bank, we simply use the computer to mark up the uh, size of the account that they have with the Fed. So it's much more akin, uh, although not exactly the same, but it's much more akin to printing money than it is to borrowing. You've been printing money. Well, effectively, and we need to do that. I guess Bernanke was looking at the average age of a 60 Minutes viewer and betting anyone who saw him last year is dead now. <laughs> Just admit it, Bernanke, you're a guy with a beard who's allowed to print money. Which makes you look smarter and more powerful than people who can't print money and don't have beards. <laughs> Frankly, I tried growing a beard. My power, if anything, diminished. <laughs> it's the ability to print money. That's the thing. So go ahead then, print money. Aside from Zimbabwe-like hyperinflation, what could go wrong? A printing problem has forced the government to put more than one billion brand new $100 bills into storage. Production has been halted until a fix is figured out. Are you me? <laughs> now we can't even print money? That was the last thing we were good at. What happened? Apparently, the printing process, which incorporates high-tech features like 3D security strips, color-shifting images, is so complex that it's causing bills to crease and fold during production. Oh, my God. <laughs> We've outsmarted ourselves with our own fancy security measures to the point where our money is committing suicide on the press. <laughs> I hope we still remember our passwords. <laughs> Or at least the answers to the security question prompts. Ooh, what's our country's maiden name? Mm, Great Britain, I believe. <laughs> so apparently the only way to fix the economy is to print money, but we can't print money. The only way this story could get worse is if it's somehow also added to global warming. It will take more than a year to sift through those piles of cash and find the bad bills, which will be taken out and burned. <laughs> in outdoor fires in front of homeless people. Congratulations, Mr. and Mrs. Parker, on your retirement. We'll be happy to cash out your retirement account today. Just a few of the details. Great. Now let me go get your money. <laughs> There's a little bit more. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. That's it. Now don't spend it all in one place. Gold is the only competitor to a national currency. You know, gold is money, and these national currencies are money substitutes that circulate in place of gold. Gold is what protects the people from the reckless policies of government. Gold is the government's chaperone. The government wants to be able to do whatever it wants. Gold stands in its way. So, yes, gold is an enemy of big government, but it's a friend of freedom. 
It's a protector of individuals from government. As Ben Bernanke, former chairman of the Federal Reserve, explained in 2002, the U.S. government has a technology called a printing press that allows it to produce as many U.S. dollars as it wishes at no cost. Over and over throughout history, when governments allow their currencies to float freely, printing money without any supporting assets, inevitably the value of the currency declines, leading to devastating financial crisis. Right now, global economic uncertainty has created a host of unprecedented risks. Entire nations and their banking systems are on the verge of bankruptcy, and the topsy-turvy volatility of the markets can literally wipe out someone's life savings in hours. It's not a question of if, it's a question of when. And when we step back and look at the entire picture, it's not difficult to see why so many people are struggling to get ahead. The good news is, there's more opportunity in the world than ever before. So how can we make sense of this disparity? What does it mean for you, me, and the rest of us who have dreams of accomplishing more in life? How can we get started on the right path and avoid the pitfalls? The answer is simple. Start acquiring physical gold and start now. You've probably heard this before, so you don't need to believe us. It's best to rely on the facts. For over 2,800 years, gold has proven to be the most effective hedge against devaluing paper currencies. J.P. Morgan, one of the world's most prominent bankers, once stated, Gold is money, everything else is credit, and once you realize this, you will never be poor again. Before the U.S. left the gold standard, a single gram of gold was worth $1.32, or $41 per ounce. This used to buy five loaves of bread. A dollar would buy you four loaves of bread. Not that much of a difference. Fast forward to today. A single gram of 24 karat gold could now afford you more than 20 loaves of bread. In contrast, a dollar doesn't even buy a single loaf of bread. Let's take another example. $100,000 in 1932 has the same purchasing power as $2,000 today. If you had taken that same $100,000 in 1932 and instead exchanged it for physical gold, today it would be worth $3.5 million. And for a more recent example, saving $300 per month starting in 1990 would give you $72,000 20 years later. But due to inflation, your $72,000 would actually leave you with only $56,000 in today's dollars. That's a $16,000 loss in value. In contrast, by exchanging that same $300 into physical gold each month, your $72,000 would now be worth a whopping $236,000, all without many of the risks inherent in other vehicles such as the stock market. Since 1805, the value of gold has steadily risen. Today, paper money and coins are printed as currency and backed by nothing. Gold, which has real value and is recognized internationally, has been recognized as real money for over 2,800 years. Governments, banks, and wealthy individuals have always made gold an important part of their overall financial plan as one of the surest ways to protect their savings against inevitable periods of volatility and devaluation. It's not that the price of gold is going up, it's that the value of the dollar is going down. The price remains constant in terms of human effort and purchasing power. An ounce of gold today will buy the same thing it bought 2,000 years ago. You know, if some catastrophic event happens, and we've seen them, uh, how are you going to be protected? Gold is financial insurance. These and other financial experts, like Mike Maloney and Robert Kiyosaki, Jim Sinclair, and dozens of others have been telling us for decades to start saving in gold. Why is it then that less than 1% of the world's population owns physical gold? To begin with, most people have been taught to trust the fiat currency system, and the problem has been that pure gold hasn't been accessible to the average person. It's expensive. Most 24 karat gold bullion is available only in larger quantities. Well, through the leadership of one visionary company, there is now a solution. Launched in 2011, Carrot Bars International offers a way to reliably and simply move small amounts of paper money into gold savings. Securely stored for you or delivered right to your front door. Simply 
Carrot Bars is making gold available to the 99%. And it isn't just any gold. It's 24 karat 999.9 fine gold bullion produced by an LBMA accredited refinery. Carrot Bars are characterized by premium quality and highly skilled craftsmanship. Carrot Bars prides themselves in working only with gold refineries that are listed under the London Good Delivery. Carrot Bars are recognized as real gold money all over the world and can be used as a legitimate form of payment or means of exchange. So imagine affordable gold bars as small as one gram shipped FedEx right to your front door every week or every month. Real money with the stored value to protect your savings against devaluing paper currency and inflation. Carrot Bars is allowing everyday people like you and me to do what governments, big banks and investors are already doing, slowly and methodically building a gold reserve as a critical hedge against inflation. After watching this video, if you take one simple step towards saving just a small amount of gold each month, you'll be planting the seed for a better future for yourself and your family. But that's for starters. Carrot Bars also offers unique and powerful rewards in cash and gold simply for sharing with others. So who is Carrot Bars and how does it work? Carrot Bars International is a privately held German corporation doing business as an e-commerce company in over 119 countries and headquartered in Stuttgart, Germany, specializing in the production and sale of small denominations of 24 karat 999.9 gold bullion in 1 gram, 2.5 grams, and 5 gram weights. Carrot Bars produces and delivers all gold embedded and heat sealed directly into a credit card style card. Unique to Carrot Bars, each card contains DNA located on the gold itself which provides the highest safety standard in the world. Under a black light, all Carrot Bar owners can view the authenticity of the Carrot Bar. Cards are offered in several attractive styles along with special occasion cards for birthdays, engagements, anniversaries, and holidays. There are even collector's cards for sports fans and other specialty cards, all containing 24 karat fine gold bullion. Companies and businesses can even create their own custom branded cards for promotions and corporate gifts. And anytime you need to exchange your gold back into paper currency, you can conveniently sell it back to the company at their daily guaranteed buyback price, or you can exchange it at a growing global network of registered K exchange centers. You'll also enjoy access to your own knowledgeable Carrot Bars representative. It's entirely free to open an account, and you can start saving immediately. This is where it gets interesting. There is now a way for Carrot Bars customers to get their gold at little or no cost by becoming a Carrot Bars affiliate. As an affiliate, the company will reward you for purchases made by those within your referral-based teams. Commissions are paid in cash, gold, and other incentives. Carrot Bars has a plan that will work for you. It's your savings your financial future, and you're in control. Most of mankind only keeps the things in mind they do not want. If you focus on what you want to obtain, then you will reach your goals. If your goal is distinct, the way towards it will reveal itself. Gold in small denominations gives man the possibility to secure one's financials. That is something paper will never be able to provide. Gold is everlasting. It has been around for 5,000 years and has been the world's currency for 2,800 years. Money is important, but to successful people, other values matter. Mankind comes in the four. It moves me every time I see someone who has changed his or her life with carrot bars. Here in Stuttgart is where my origins are, and I view it as a personal responsibility to advance this country further. I put emphasis on quality, continuity, and an efficient infrastructure. Shipping has been something we have put a lot of effort and work into and have developed an extremely secure system in partnership with FedEx.
true to yourself, success will follow.